Children learn how to do most things by following instructions from their parents or other grown-ups. You can think of these instructions as algorithms that shape our behaviors. As we continue through life, we apply this type of procedure to solve most problems we encounter. In its simplest form, an algorithm is a set of clear step-by-step -step instructions that a person or a machine can follow to solve a problem or complete a task. Algorithms can be found almost everywhere in our everyday life, from following your favorite recipe and washing your hair to driving a car or sailing a boat. All of these tasks require a specific set of procedures to be completed. As we go deeper into learning about blockchain and other emerging technologies, we want to make sure that we have a good understanding of all the fundamentals, which is why I thought I should definitely do a video explaining algorithms. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. Knowing how to use algorithmic thinking to determine clear steps to solve a problem is crucial for our logical thinking and problem-solving skills. But as we become increasingly more digitized as a society, it is also essential to learn about algorithms because they are the foundation of computer science. From playing a video game to using a calculator or driving the Mars rover, computers use algorithms to follow instructions that allow them to do everything. In reality, computer programs are algorithms written in a programming language that the computer can understand. They determine the steps that the computer must follow to execute a specific task. Depending on the programming language used, algorithms are written using different syntaxes. You can think of syntax in programming language as the grammatical rule of a human language. There are many different kinds of algorithms and they are classified depending on the concepts that they use to accomplish tasks. Here are a few of them. Brute force algorithms try all the possible solution combinations until they find the one that is correct. These are slow in generating results. This one may be familiar to you when we talked about the proof of work mechanism in Bitcoin mining. Be sure to watch my video about that one if you haven't. Another one is divide and conquer algorithms, which divide the main problem into smaller sub-problems of the same kind. Then they solve those more minor problems and use the combined solutions to solve the main problem. Recursive algorithms solve the lowest and simplest form of the problem, gradually increasing to solve larger versions of the problem until the solution for the original problem is found. Greedy algorithms analyze the problem in each step to find a localized solution until they get to the best optimal solution for the entire problem. Backtracking algorithms divide the problem into sub-problems to solve. If the desired solution is not found, it backtracks in the problem to find another path that lets it move forward. Think of it like finding your way through a maze. Dynamic algorithms break down a problem into smaller and simpler subproblems, solve them, and then store the solution for future use. Last but not least, randomized algorithms use a random number at least once during the computation to solve the problem. Algorithms aim to give us the optimal solution to any given problem. They can be used in computer programming to improve the efficiency of any computer program and ensure the proper usage of the machine's resources. Usually, there is more than one way to solve a problem. However, the efficiency of the different methods vary. Some methods are quicker and some give more accurate solutions, but quicker doesn't always mean better. For example, in cryptocurrencies, there's a big pressure to shift away from proof of work, which uses the brute force algorithm because of its energy usage and its slowness. However, the fact that this algorithm uses so much energy and it's so slow is exactly what keeps the network so secure. Therefore, this is a feature, not a bug. There's a reason why Satoshi, the creator of Bitcoin, chose this algorithm to secure the network. Now, I have another video coming up where I will address the environmental impact argument about Bitcoin. But for now, I wanted you to have all of this background knowledge about algorithms as a whole.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.